Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out the Pure Delusion YouTube channel. My name is Clayton. Today I will be walking you through how to use the BidFTA website. So about a year ago I created a video on how to use BidFTA.com, also known as Fast Track Auctions. And uh, the company has recently redesigned their website and made it more user friendly, so I figured it's time to do an updated video on how to use their, their new and improved website. So a little bit of background information on BidFTA or Fast Track Auctions. The website itself is BidFTA.com. It is a, uh, a website where you can um, purchase various items. It's, you know, random items. A lot of the uh, items they have are uh, liquidation sales, um, items that have been returned to various sellers, uh, places like Amazon, uh, Walmart, Wayfair. So there's all sorts of random things on here, and uh, they, have, they have warehouses around the country. So first things first, you're going to go to bidfta.com, um, and you're going to need to register uh, or you know, create an account if you don't have one already. The way it used to work is you would have to put in your bidder number to place bids, but you don't have to do that anymore. It's all based on your email and your, your new created login information. All right, so after you've logged in and you registered your account, you put in your credit card information and all that, the thing you need to know about Fast Track Auctions is that they do not ship things to you. You have to physically go pick these items up, so you're going to need to filter the results to figure out where is a warehouse that's close to you. Uh, I live in Cincinnati, and as you can see, this auction right here is in Johnson City, Tennessee. That's not going to work for me. So you could do it a few different ways. There's this toolbar up here. Uh, you can put in your zip code. I did that. I didn't find that it was super accurate. It was a little confusing the way they had it set up. So the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is you click See All Auctions. And, <clears throat> and what you're going to want to do now is you're going to choose my location. So like I said, I live in Cincinnati. We're going to click on all the Cincinnati area warehouses and we're going to hit filter so there's all these auctions that pop up and, and you know don't be overwhelmed this auction here the first auction you see is the auction that is closest to ending so this auction ends in 18 minutes uh, you scroll down this quick set one here ends in four hours and 48 minutes Sometimes you can get them. This one ends in 18 hours. So you have, if you really like to monitor things, you can do that. You can load more. Uh, there's some that are two, 22 hours out. You know, there's days, one day. So let me find an auction here. We're going to click on the one with the toilet. So this page is extremely important. So you got the title up here. Brand name tools, vanity lighting, and other household items. Uh, what I assume is that this is a lot of returned items or a liquidation from a place like Home Depot. The notes. You're going to want to look at these notes right here. You can actually go to the warehouse and inspect the items if you really want to. They give you uh, some days for that to do that before the auction. The next important thing you're going to want to look at is removal. These are the times that you can go to the warehouse and pick up your items. So they give you four days and any time on these four days, if you go between 1 and 6 p.m., you can retrieve your items. Right here, if you do not go and pick your items up, they will resell them or throw them away. So you have to make sure you go pick up the items. And then the most important thing is the pickup location. Seymour Avenue uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we're going to click View Items and Bid. So like I said, we've got a lot of tools here. So let me click on this lamp here for you. So you can click on the pictures. Looks like there's a receipt there with it. The most important thing on this page is look at the additional info. It says open box. What open box means is that the item is not factory sealed. What happened was somebody probably purchased this item and returned it. Maybe they purchased it, it didn't work, all the pieces weren't in there, whatever. So additional information is where you're going to look to see what condition 
the item is in. Now with things like damaged, damaged items or open box items, those are items if you bid on them and you win, and you get to the, the warehouse and you realize, hey, uh, maybe I bought a dresser and all the parts weren't in there, I don't want it anymore. Well, the thing with open box items is you have to take those items. They will not give you any sort of refund on open box items. Okay, guys, we need to find an item that appears new. I want to show you what one of those looks like, so we're going to click here on the air conditioner. So this item currently is at $33.33. It has five bidders. You can look at the pictures. They do a pretty good job of posting the pictures. And additional info, it says appears new. So with the appears new items, these are the items that you can refund if something is wrong with them. But the catch is you have to get the refund before you leave the building, before you leave the warehouse. So let's say you go to the warehouse to pick up your air conditioner. You see that it has a big dent in it and you don't want it anymore. You need to alert them that you don't want this anymore before you take it out of the building. Uh, they will not give you a refund if you take the air conditioner to your car and then you change your mind and say, well, I don't want it. There's a big dent in it. You bring it back in. They're not going to give you a refund. Okay, so for this video's sake, I'm just going to find an item. I'm going to bid on it, show you guys how to bid. We're back here at the lamp. The current bid is five cents. We've got somebody, one bidder, has bid five cents. You've got two ways to bid. You can bid now, just place a one-time bid, or you can put in your max bid. All right, so first we're going to do bid now. We're going to bid 10 cents. I am the highest bidder for this item. So what we could do is, if we really want to keep the item, we'll say my max bid is 50 cents. Okay. So if somebody comes in here and says, hey, I want this lamp, I'm going to bid 15 cents, we will automatically outbid them. I believe that's how eBay works as well. So we've got our max bid in there. So let's say we win this item. They are going to send you an email receipt saying that, hey, you won the item. These are the days you need to come and pick it up. Now, so something that's important when you get to the warehouse, you're going to want to print off that email they sent you. It's going to have a location on it, and you're going to have to find that item. And they'll help you to a certain extent, but you're going to have to go find the item in the warehouse yourself. It's, it's decently organized, depending on which warehouse you go to. And you'll have to bring your ID to make sure you are the person that purchased that item. So that's pretty much all I have on bidfta.com. Um, it's, it's a decent website. You can get some cheap stuff on here if you really search for it. Uh, a lot of people use this website to resell items on places like eBay. But like I said, make sure you look at the condition of the item. And it even says it right here on this page underneath the picture. So a lot of the items are open box. If you really want something guaranteed, you're going to want to bid on the appears new items. If you're looking to take a risk, this item might be new. Maybe it was just returned. You're looking for open box. Sometimes they sell damaged items. Keep a lookout for that. So anyway, I want to say thank you for watching the video. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Check out some of our other great videos. And thanks a lot for watching.